Hello everyone. Today we will start reviewing this book, which is revision guide. This revision guide it includes or it covers everything that it's required for the checkpoint exam. So this book it consists of three parts biology, chemistry, and physics. This book it includes or it contains topics from grade 7, grade 8, and grade 9. So everything that it's included in the checkpoint or that it's needed uh, in the checkpoint you will find it here. Tips for study this book. Firstly, how to start studying this book? This book, for example, let's take this, the first page, as an example. Here, as you can see, what do we have? The topic is introducing plants. Example, organs of plants. Here, what you will have, uh, you will have like drawing, you will have the uh, graphs, you will have uh, diagrams, okay? So you will need to label them. And for example, here we have parts or organs of plants. What do you need to, to know here? It's you should know the names of the organs and also the function of each organ. One more thing. In each page, you will find this one. Tips for success. Okay. Tips for success. You need to know uh, the main idea of the topic. For example, here it says, remember the names and the functions of each of the plant organs. So because here this topic, it was talking about organs of plant. So you must know the organs and the function of each organ. In addition to that, by the end of each topic, you will have some questions, okay? For example, uh, check your understanding. Question number one, it says, label A to D on figure 1.1 on page one and the rest of questions. So these questions, it's about the uh, organs of plant. Then, it's like a conclusion. The last thing you uh, need to do it by the end of each topic. Here you will have this question. Spotlight on the test. Okay. David is growing a plant on his win, uh, wind well. He notes that it has weak shoots and throws. Give a reason for this. So if you will understand everything, then you will be able to solve this question. So this question, it's like a conclusion, okay? So by following these steps, we will uh, explain everything in this book. So we will study this book by this way. In addition to these tips, what you need to do, when I send you the videos about checkpoint past papers, also, I sent uh, the answers, okay, the answers for the questions. If you will focus on the answers, you will see that you don't need to write uh, lots of words, okay? Uh, in the questions, they are asking you, they are giving you a question and they are looking for a specific word. So, you don't need to write a lot of words, okay? You need to know what does the question say? And so when you will know what does the question it said, then you will be able to give a specific answer. So we will, uh, this book, we will spend the next two weeks uh, explaining or reviewing this book. So uh, the first week, this week, uh, we will finish the first part, which is about biology and some of the uh, chemistry. In the second week, we will continue the chemistry and also we will finish the physics. So it will take two weeks to finish this book. Now, the first part of this book, biology. Biology, 
This it will includes five chapters. Chapter first, chapter number one or the first chapter, it's about plants. Okay. Plants. So introducing plants. Firstly, the first topic is the organs of plant. Since primary school, we are studying about plant and parts of plant or organs of plant. As we know, all the plants or most of the plants they share this four or five, this four uh, organs, the main organs. These main organs are what? First one, it's root. Second one, it's stem. Third one, it's leaf. And fourth one, it's flower. Now, after giving the names of each organ, now we should be able to give the uh, or we should be able to mention the function of this organ. Firstly, root. What's the function of root? Hold the plant in the soil and takes up water and minerals from the soil. So, how many functions do we have for roots? Two main functions. Number one, hold the plant and uh, number two, transport or absorb water from soil. In the science book, uh, there are many uh, functions for roots. If this is for in, if you will study the science for grade eight, you will see that the root it has many functions. Then number two, stem. Stem. The function of stem is to support the leaves and flowers, and also it transport water and food through the plant. How is that? When the roots here will absorb water and mineral from soil, then this water and mineral will be uh, traveled or transported into the stem. Now, stem, it will uh, does do what? It will send this water and minerals to the leaves, okay, and flower. Then, when these leaves it will get water. So what will happen in the leaves? It will do the uh, photosynthesis. By photosynthesis, the leaves will make food. Now, how this food will be transported to the other uh, plant parts? Of course, it will be through the stem. Then, leaf. Leaf, I just explained, we said, the main function of leaves, it's what? It's to do photosynthesis. It goes through photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? Uh, the, the definition or explanation for photosynthesis is very important because like every year uh, in the checkpoint, you'll have a question about photosynthesis. This question, it's either it will be, for example, uh, uh, give a definition for photosynthesis or they will say, uh, uh, write the formula or the, the equation for photosynthesis. So photosynthesis, if we want to give a definition for it, we will say it's a process in which or by which green plants make their own food. Then the last part, the last organ, which is flower. Flowers, also in the science book of grade 9, we explained about flower. We said flower. It's what? It's the. It contains the reproductive organs. The plant. It will reproduce by what? By the help of flowers. Why by the help of flowers? Because flowers they have the reproductive organs in it. It has the reproductive, the male and female reproductive organs in. It. It. Now, we finish this page, the first page. How we can make sure we uh, finish this page or we understood everything uh, about this page? Now, you will come here to the tips of tips for success. 
So remember the names and the functions of each of the plant organs. By the end of this explanation, now you should be able to uh, mention or to list all the names for the plant organs and also to give the function of each organ. If you will follow these uh, tips or if you will follow these uh, steps, then by the end of uh, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to solve all the questions about uh, science. Now, absorption of water and minerals. Before we start explaining about absorption of water and minerals, directly it should come to your mind. How plant will absorb water? You should ask yourself, how plants will absorb water and minerals? From where will absorb it? By what will absorb it? If you will ask yourself all of these questions, and if you will find answer for these questions, then that means you understood everything and everything was clear. Now, water, it, water it comes from where, firstly? It comes from soil, okay? Now, the water in the soil, it, here we say absorption of water and minerals, okay? We know that water, it comes from soil, but from where the minerals it will comes again because plant it's getting water from soil and also minerals from soil everything uh, plant it gets everything from uh, soil except the gas which uh, which is carbon dioxide it comes from uh, atmosphere so water in the soil contains dissolved minerals then the roots, when it will absorb water, it's absorbing what? It's absorbing water plus minerals. Where are these minerals? These minerals are dissolved in this water. So, the taking up of water and minerals dissolved in the water is called absorption. It takes place by what? In the root hair, part of the root. In the previous years, we studied that uh, plant it absorb water from soil by roots, okay? But in fact, roots it has another structures in it. These structures we call them root hair, okay? Root hair, okay? Where are these root hairs? Okay, this it's the root. This is the main branch of root, okay? Here it's the uh, secondary branch of root, okay? Then this branch, it has small outgrowth structures. It's like hair. We call them what? Root hairs, okay? So root hair, it's what will absorb the uh, water and minerals from the soil. Now, here what do we have? We have definition for absorption. Absorption, it's what? It's the taking up of water and minerals uh, from the soil. Now, after absorbing absorption of water, now the root and root hair, it absorbs the water and minerals. Now, you will ask yourself, then what will happen? What will happen to this water and minerals? So, now, this water and minerals, it needs to be transported. It needs to be uh, traveled to another place. Where, by what, and how? This water, this water, the plant absorbed water for a reason. What is this reason? It's to make food by photosynthesis. Now, the plant absorbs the uh, water and minerals from soil by roots. Now, where the photosynthesis it will take place? It will take place in leaves. So now, what will happen? 
the water it should be transported from roots to the leaves okay now what is the part that it connect roots with leaves it's what it will be the stem now let's see how this process it will happen transport of water and minerals the water and minerals are drawn up the root and stem and into the leaves in tiny tubes called xylem vessels we mentioned that stem the function of it it's to transport water and minerals and also food but if we will dissect the root if we will study the structure of uh, sorry if we will dissect the stem if we will study the structure of stem we will see the stem it consists of tiny tubes these tubes we call them they are vessels we call them xylem vessels these tubes the function of it it's to transport water and minerals okay focus on this xylem vessels are tiny tubes in the stem the function of it it's to transport water and minerals from root to the leaves then after that when the water will goes to the uh, leaves what will happen to this water this water by will be uh, used by the process of photosynthesis then there will be another process we call it cellular respiration it will what it will release this water so some of this water will leaves uh, will uh, the, some of the water in the leaves will evaporate okay what will happen some of this water it will escape from the uh, leaves it will escape from the leaves through tiny openings we call them stomata so what do we mean by stomata stomata you will uh, stomata you will say the definition of stomata you will say tiny holes in the leaves that enable the water to evaporate through it now the process of the process by which plants lose water is called transpiration the water when it will evaporate through the stomata okay this process all of it we call it what transpiration transpiration it's the process by which plants lose water then the movement of water through plant we call it what transpiration stream the movement of water through the plant is called transpiration stream here what you need to do student you need to focus on the uh, lines that i am highlighting them the one that i am highlight the the line or the words uh, that i am highlighting them these are the main words of the topic so these words you need to understand them you need to memorize them the importance of water to plants now we were explaining that plants it absorb water water will be tra uh, transported from root to stem to leaves so why what is the importance of water to plant Firstly, when we say, it, for example, leaves to do photosynthesis, it will need water. So, what's that mean? Photosynthesis, it's, example, it's an example of chemical reaction. So, this chemical reaction to take place, it needs water. So, water is important for plants. Why? Because all, the, all of the chemical reactions that it will happen in the plants, it needs water water so the chemical reactions of life 
such as respiration and photosynthesis take place in water. So all the essential chemical reactions, all the uh, important chemical reactions that it's happening in the plant, it need water. Without water, these processes will not take place. Then, a lack of water makes a plant wilt. When there, when there won't be any, when there won't be enough amount of water in the plant, so what will happen to the plant? The plant will wilt. It's like we, we all of us, we notice this thing. Uh, for example, if you have a plant at home, if you will, if you will not water it, if you will not give water to this plant, you will see after a couple of days, this plant will start uh, wilting. Okay. So, a lack of water makes a plant wilt so that the leaves are not held up to the sunlight. Photosynthesis is reduced and then stops. So a lack of water, it will affect on what? It will affect on the chemical reactions that it's taking place in the plant, especially uh, photosynthesis. No water, it means no photosynthesis. No photosynthesis means no uh, food for the plant of course no food for the plant no food for the cells at the end what will happen to the cells these cells will die it's same as for example for our bodies our bodies our cells to still to stay alive it needs uh, food this food uh, it needs we, we should get food we should drink water okay without drinking water uh, the chemical reactions it will not happen in our body. It will stop. When it will stop, that's mean our cells will not get enough amount of energy, enough amount of food. So at the end, these cells, uh, when it will not get enough amount of food or uh, enough amount of energy, so what will happen? It will stop working and then it will die. Then, now, the importance of minerals to plants. We say roots, it absorb water and minerals. We explained why water is important for the plants. Now, let's see. What is the function of minerals in plant? Why uh, minerals are important for the plants? Let's Firstly, we will take some examples of minerals. Nitrogen phosphorus and potassium as you can see here we have different types of minerals because we have different examples of different types of minerals that's mean each mineral has a specific uh, function uh, in the plant three minerals now needed for nitrogen it's needed for leaf development Absence causes when there will be deficiency of uh, this uh, mineral or when there will be less amount of this mineral. What will happen to the plant? Yellow leaves and poor growth. Okay. So now when you will have a plant and uh, you will look at this plant, you will see this plant, the leaves of this plant, it's turning yellow and it's not growing. So directly it should come to your mind why what happened you will say there is a lack of uh, minerals especially nitrogen then phosphorus it's needed for root development absence of it poor growth potassium flower and fruit development absence of it yellow leaves which grow uh, abnormally. You will see the leaves are what? Uh, turning, it turns uh, yellow and it's not growing uh, normally. Now, again, tips for success. Make sure you can label the parts of plant and that you know which minerals are needed for the growth of each part. If now you should be able to mention or list the names of these organs and also uh, you will be asked for example if you see uh, let's say 
yellow leaf. Okay, why? What do you think? What is the reason? You will say it's a uh, deficiency of uh, mineral. Okay, but which mineral? Okay, if you will come to the table, you will see here. Uh, absence of nitrogen, what will happen? The leaf develop, it, affect on, it affects leaf development and you will say the leaves uh, turning yellow because there is uh, lack in nitrogen. If, you will, if the question will be about root, you will say phosphorus. If the question is about flower and fruit development, you will say it's potassium. Now, check your understanding. Questions. Label A to D on figure 1.1 on page 1. Now, labeling here we have A, B, C, D. Okay? If you want, you, if you, want you can stop the video and then uh, giving, write your answer, then check it. A. Which part is this one? It's, it's flower. B. Which part is this one? It's leaf. C. Which part is this one? It's stem. Which part is D? It's root. Okay. One more thing. In the checkpoint, okay, you should focus on your uh, spelling. Okay. For example, stem. Many students... When they hear what is the name of it, it's STEM, S-T-E-M. Some students, uh, instead of STEM, they write STEAM, okay? If you will write STEAM in the checkpoint, this, it will be totally wrong. You will lose mark. So, focus on your spelling. Then, question number two, where does the absorption of water take place? The answer, it's what? Root, or you can say root hair. Okay, then, where does the evaporation of water take place? The water will evaporate through what? Through leaves, in the leaves. If you want, you can add more details. You will say, pla uh, water will evaporate through stomata that found on the surface of leaf. Question number four. Draw an arrow on figure 1.1 to show th the transpiration stream. Label the arrow. Transpiration stream, okay, here. It says the movement of water through the plant. So here is okay, the drawing. Now this uh, evaporation stream it starts from where? Firstly, it will start from root. It goes through stem, then to the leaves, and some of it will go to the uh, flower. Okay root, stem, leaf, and then you will draw an arrow out of leaves to show that the water, it evaporates through the leaf. Question number five, which mineral is needed for the growth of A, B, D? Okay, what is A? It's flower. Which one, uh, which uh, mineral is needed for flower? It's potassium. Then for B, which part it's B? It's leaf. Which one it's needed for leaf? It's what? Nitrogen. Then another one for uh, D. What is D? D, it's the root which mineral is required for the root development it's the phosphorus
So here you need to focus, you need to memorize these three minerals, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Then, last thing, the conclusion of this, David is growing a plant on his windowsill. He notices that it has weak shoots and roots. Give a reason for this. The answer for this one, because it, it says here weak shoots and roots, that's mean the plant it's not growing normally why it's because of the you will have two reasons either the plant it's not getting enough amount of water to do the photosynthesis that it will uh, provide food for the cells or you will say there is a lack of minerals or you will say there is a deficiency of minerals that's it so that was everything for this topic uh, we will keep uh, explaining in this way again uh, you need to focus on the words that I highlight them you need to focus on tips for success and also uh, spotlight on the test and also the uh, questions so that was everything for the first lesson uh, I hope everything was clear uh, I hope the tips that I gave the steps that I mentioned uh, were clear uh, you need to you need to practice more on this book and uh, if you still have any questions or any concerns, please don't hesitate to text me and don't forget to write your name when you will finish watching this video. Thank you and have a good day.